Hello, and welcome to your digital cookie training for parents and troop leaders. If you're a troop leader, we'll put some extra information at the end that will be useful for you, um, and parents can hop off at that part. Um, the first part is certainly relevant for uh, everyone. It's good for leaders to know this information, and it's certainly uh, key for parents. So let's get started. Before we hop into how digital cookie works, just a quick note that with Digital Cookie, uh, you're gonna sell more cookies. So the average order for shipped boxes is seven and a half boxes. And right now an average order in traditional sales is about four boxes. So Digital Cookie is a great tool to help girls really reach their goals faster. There's four easy steps to Digital Cookie and we'll walk through each of those. There's registering, setting up your site, inviting customers to purchase, and tracking your goal. So you will be receiving a volunteer registration email if you're a volunteer and a parent registration email if you're a parent and your, your service unit and community guides can let you know when, that, when you'll be receiving that email, when you can expect that. When you get that, it will come from Girl Scout Cookies and say register for the digital cookie platform today. You'll get the email, you're gonna click on the green button, register now. You'll be asked to create a password, then use that password to log in with the email address that you received your email and that new password. You'll watch a quick three minute safety video. It's designed to be watched in conjunction with your Girl Scout. There will be terms and conditions and a safety pledge that you'll review. And there is one for parents, one for volunteers. And if you are a parent, there's one for you to review with your girl, the girl pledge. If you have multiple roles, if you are a leader and a parent, you'll be asked what role you'd like to view when you log in. And if you're a parent, you will be looking at um, the girls that are you're the parent and guardian of, caregiver of. You'll click register. You'll have the opportunity to add in her first name if it's different than what appears. For example, maybe in the membership system, she's Eleanor, but she goes by Nora. You could put her common first name of Nora here. Also, if the girl is 13 or over at this point, you can enter an email address for her. Then she'll receive her own registration email and she'll be able to do a lot of these activities on her own as a girl 13 years or older. Once you're in, you're gonna to wanna to set up your site. So girls working with their parents or by themselves if they're 13 or over will come. The first thing they're asked to do is they're going to set their sales goal. So how many packages is she looking to sell this year? Also, has she already sold any cookies? Um, maybe she's starting cookies a little late or she's updating later. Has she sold cookies to friends and family or other folks on order cards or at other kinds of sales? If so, she can enter how many sales she's already had offline. And she's coached to write her cookie story. So the first section asks her what her troop is planning to do with the cookie money. So she set her girl goal here. Over here, we hope that the Girl Scout troop has a goal as well. So she'll talk about what the girl, what the Girl Scout troop plans to do with her, with their cookie money. And she's asked what she's learned from selling cookies. So she can write something she's learned from selling cookies, or if she's a new cookie seller, she can certainly put in information about what she's excited to learn about in cookies. And she can load a photo or video. So girls can upload their own photo or their own video. They can use the video that comes with the system or they can choose some images that are that are in the system as well if they don't want to do their own photo. We do know that girls who upload their own photo sell about twice as many cookies as girls who don't and girls who upload their own video sell three times as many. So it's a great opportunity to let the girl drive and be creative with what she'd like to put there. Once she's walked through those three steps with you, at the bottom of the page there is a button that says see your site and publish. Just a note for girls 13 or over, this will say see your site and submit for approval. So at that point, pushing the green button, the parent and girl come and they get a view of, of her cookie story, the image she's used here, how her site's gonna look to customers. If she needs to make an edit, there is an edit button that she can use to go ahead and go make those changes. Otherwise, she'll say um, approve and publish. And again, for older girls, it'll say submit for approval. That will kick off an email that goes to the parent, letting the parent know that the girl has set up her site and asking the parent to come in and approve her site. Well, we want girls to have the autonomy to set up their site, 
We do still want parents to have that approval process to make sure she's not revealing any personally identifying information accidentally, that she's not using any you know, trademark photos, things that she shouldn't be using on her site. So just a chance for you to approve that before her information is out there for customers. Now that she's got a cookie site, she's gonna to wanna to invite some customers. So she has the option to add or import customers on her customers tab. The great thing is girls who participate in Digital Cookie, their customers will stay with them from year to year. So as long as she's still selling cookies, those customers from previous years will be there. So it's a great way for her to really build her customer base. So girls can add customers one at a time, or they can import customers using an Excel file of their customer lists. And they'll have a chance to send marketing emails once your sale has started. So girls can set up their customers at any point once the sale has started, they can send marketing emails. So they will select the people they'd like to send the email to. They'll click send marketing email. They'll have a choice of three. The first one is open for business. Great at the beginning of the sale. The second one says there's still time to order cookies. It's great for reminding customers who haven't yet made a purchase. And there's an email that says thank you for your purchase. The nice thing is that girls can track what they've what emails they've sent to who and if that customer has ordered or not. So they might they might come back in and see that uh, this customer has ordered. So maybe they want to send the thank you email to the customers who've ordered. They might see, oh, you know, a week ago I sent the email and not, you know, these people have not ordered yet. So maybe I want to send them the reminder email. So girls, again, they're in the driver's seat. They can definitely use some reminders from parents to check this, to check their status and send out reminder emails. But it's up to them which emails to send and when and, and how frequently. It's a great lesson that they're going to learn that in this day and age that even customers who want to purchase cookies, it takes more than one email to reach all of her customers, but she'll see that with a couple of reminders that she sees results. There's also another option for girls. Once the site is live and her site is set up on her homepage, she will have her very own URL. How great is it that she gets a web address to her own cookie store, even if she's a Daisy or a Brownie? So you can also take this link and you can email it directly to people or you can post on social media in accordance with your organization's social media guidances. So then she's going to track her goal. She's going to be very excited. She's going to hear from friends and family who are purchasing cookies. She's going to want to go check her progress. So she's going to see come in at the bottom of her screen. She's going to see the boxes she sold how those break down, what kind of cookies there were, how they're purchasing the cookies. She's gonna send if she if she's seen email, she's gonna see if she's sent emails, what emails she has sent and how many. So that's great. She can see that the more emails she sent, the more sales she's getting. Also, she's gonna just see her overall progress. And girls have told us so much they love hearing that somebody placed an order, they like to come in, they like to see that it, you know, it was this bar before and now it's up here a little bit. So they really like to see that that gratification and they like to see the results of their sales. Maybe she's selling more cookies offline or she's reached her goal and wants to change that goal to be even higher. She can update those both here from the home page and it'll take her to a uh, way to update that information as well. So when she gets orders, she may have orders that need to be delivered. If so, the parent has five days to approve that order. So on the orders, cookie orders tab, the parent will come in they can take a look at the order by clicking on the, the green name here. They'll see the details of the order. If they're sure they can get the cookies for that customer and that the customer is somebody that they can deliver to, they will click um, approve order. If they realize that that person can't, um, they can't deliver cookies to that person, they can always decline the order. At that point, the customer will receive a notification. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. If she does have deliver order, she has approved for delivery. She will see those here so she can export those orders and make a pick list of all of her cookies that need to be delivered. Also at the bottom, there is a section for all orders. So she can see all of her orders, shipped orders, donated orders, and uh, delivered in-person orders as well. There is a tab called Learning in Digital Cookie. It's got great games and videos that vary by age level. So this particular one, she's a daisy, so she's got a little cookie booth theater to practice cookie booths if she's able to do a cookie booth this year. 
If not, it's still a super fun activity that girls can complete on their own or on their own with a uh, their virtual troop meeting. They could have a across, across the distance cookie booth theater. There's a cookie song that helps girls learn the names of the cookies and a little bit of information about them. There's also videos of how girls have used their cookie money and there's some printables like budgeting and take action tool, like take action planner tools. There are a couple of games built into the system. Uh, this one helps girls recognize that, you know, the red box is for um, the customer that has the red on her and she bounces that. This one is just like Candy Crush. It's called Cookie Crave. So girls have to line up four of the same kind of cookies by swapping cookie places and earning trefoil points in the game. So clicking here shows you more activities. There's about a dozen activities for each age level. and They do vary. So the older girls have some fun quizzes here instead of the cookie song. And of course, older girls don't have a cookie booth theater, but they've got more videos of girls doing inspiring things, um, including travel and take action projects with their cookie money. There's another tab called pins and badges. So on that, if the girl's a daisy, for example, she would see the daisy pins and the daisy cookie business badges. If she's a brownie, she'd see the brownie cookie business badges and the, the, uh, the daisy, or sorry, the brownie family entrepreneur pin. So this was a pin that was new last year. This is year two of it. You can see if you earned it uh, in year one, you'd work on year two. If you didn't earn it last year, even if you were in the second year of your brownies, for example, you would still work on year one. So it's about which year of the pin are you earning. The activities are the same, but they do allow the girl and the family to work together and learn and grow through that. So all they do is click on the step. They'll see the details of that step and they can say that they did it. Also for the pins and badges, girls don't have to do them here. If girls have earned that, that badge in a troop setting, whether it's virtual or in person, or worked with their family outside of, um, outside of the steps here to earn the pin, they can absolutely let us know that they've done it and they'll see it in full color on their dashboard then. So shipping, great news, is it's actually the same as last year. They worked really hard to make sure to hold the line on shipping. So it is the same as last year. There is a four package minimum. So customers have to order a minimum of four packages of cookies in order to have a shipped order. Uh, the rates, so at 13, it, it is the 12 box plus the four to six, or the 1.1 to six uh, box uh, total is what it costs for 13 or more. And um, as you probably have heard, there's a $5 surcharge to order shipping the Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, APO, FPO, and DPO, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, and actually Guam as well. So a small surcharge to get those cookies anywhere around the world, um, but it does allow those family and friends from far away and who are now on, you know, maybe halfway around the world from you to still get those delicious Girl Scout cookies. So again, we encourage girls to send their link out. Um, there is there is shipping. It is not free shipping. We are not in a in a position where we can offer free shipping without having to charge more for the you know more for the cookies and girls getting less proceeds. That's not something we want to do. Customers are really willing to pay shipping though. We've seen that. We've seen digital sales grow. Of course, right now we're in a situation where people are used to having things have to be delivered to them, and a lot of times that means shipping. Um, also, people are used to now you know delivery services. So maybe they're willing to pay twenty dollars to have. Uh, you know, their, their dinner delivered to them. So people are getting more familiar with having those, those charges. So we encourage girls to send the link out. If the customer doesn't want to pay the shipping charge, then she might not make that purchase, but she might decide to donate a couple boxes of cookies while she's there because she wants to support your Girl Scout. So don't make the decision for the customer. Go ahead and help girls send the links out to people she knows. So what do customers see? We're going to take a look at that. So when you send an email from the system to customers, this is what they'll see. They will have a lovely green Buy Cookies Online button. Clicking that will take them to the girls page. So you'll see again her cookie story here, the photo or video she used. You'll see all the delicious Girl Scout cookies that they can purchase. They also have the option to donate cookies. So again, maybe they don't want to ship cookies. Maybe they're on a diet after the first of the year. Um, and they just want to donate cookies to still help girls and to help your Girl Scout. They can do that or they can add on. There's also a gift box option, gift box option that allows customers to select five boxes of cookies, all the same kind or a mix of cookies. 
and put them in this nice gift box with a lovely gift card as well that goes to the recipient. So once the customers place the order, they will choose if they want this cookie shipped or to have the Girl Scout deliver them if that's available for you. From there, it's pretty simple. They'll be taken to a place to enter who, where the cookies are going to. Um, also, if they are choosing uh, to have girl delivery, they'll be asked if they if the parent can't approve that order, do they want to cancel the order or have it donated? They'll be asked if they, um, if they were a Girl Scout ever or if they are interested in joining or volunteering. And that is an optional section. And they'll be asked for the payment information and they'll receive a confirmation screen. So pretty simple. There's only eight varieties plus a, you know, a donation in the gift box to choose from. You don't have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of choices. I like some websites where you just give up because there's so many choices. So just our delicious Girl Scout cookies that everybody knows and love. A pretty simple checkout flow. And they're on their way to having purchased cookies. So once their order is complete, they will receive an email with an order confirmation. So let them know that the order went went through successfully, just reminding them what they ordered and uh, the, the, the price on that. If it's a donated order, that's the that's the end of the confirmation. So they'll receive that and let them know that they're, it'll let the customer know that their order was donated. If it's a shipped email, they will get another email when the order ships and it will include a tracking number so they can watch excitedly as their cookies make their way to them. For in-person delivery orders, the confirmation lets the customer know that the girl and the parent will need to look at the order and approve it. If the parent approves it, the customer will know that the girl will be on her way to deliver cookies in a few weeks or after the cookies are in stock. And if the parent declines the order, it does let the the customer know that the parent declined the order, the girl and the parent declined the order, and it includes a link back to the girl's site so they can an encouragement to order cookies for shipping or for a donation. So there is a mobile app as well. You do have to have your site set up in Digital Cookie in order to access the mobile app. So when you come there, you'll select uh, the Girl Scout. If you have multiple, it'll let you choose between them. You'll see a number of things for goal, um, the ability to capture a new cookie order. There's an ability to email my site and coming soon, January, either 11th or 15th, there will be a section instead of tips, it'll say a QR code. So girls can click on that. It will bring up a QR code that they can share with their customers in order to purchase cookies contactlessly. They also can view orders that are they've made so far. So with email my site, it's great. Maybe somebody you're in a hurry, you don't have cookies with you, but somebody sees, you know, your daughter's Girl Scout vest on and wants to buy cookies. So you can bring that up, enter the customer's name and email address, send them send email, and it will send them the open for business email. So it's a great way to kind of capture things on the fly and make sure that you don't forget to go back and email that person in order. Again, all orders, you'll be able to see all the orders you've had, what kind, and um, if there's an order for delivery, you can look at that and you can approve it. And you can also just see what orders um, need to be delivered. So if you're taking those out and about, you can just say, oh, this is what I need for that customer and be reminded. So there's a checkout on mobile app. So they'll it's a very easy, simple thing. They'll indicate what kind of and how many of the cookies they want. Click checkout. And this is all the girl with the mobile app, the girl and the parent. So this is not for the customer. This mobile app is designed for the girl and the parent to be using it um, when they're interacting with a customer in a situation where they would need a mobile app. If they're if we get to a situation where they're able to have that kind of face to face or even distant, socially distant face to face uh, contact, then they can do that. So they can say, am I going to give the cookies to the customer now? Maybe I've got my cookies and I'm delivering them. Maybe the cookie is going to uh, maybe the customer wants to have the cookies shipped or have those delivered. So they're gonna select that, enter in some basic information, review the order, and they'll be asked to enter their credit card. So starting um, between January 11th and 15th, the mobile app will be updated. At that point, there'll be an option to use OCR, which is optical character recognition. So the girl will be in, in interacting with her customer and she can pull out her phone and come payment time, she could scan that card. The, the scanner will read the numbers and instead of the girl trying to type them in, it will populate the numbers here. So it's a great way to be contactless. The customer could put the card on a table and step back or put it in a little, a little tray and step back. 
the girl parent can scan that card, get those numbers without having to come in contact with the card, and step back and let the customer get their card. So at the end, there'll be a thank you screen reminding the girl to say thank you to her customer. So that's the important information for parents. Digital Cookies is a really easy site to use. We're sure that you and your Girl Scout are gonna get in there, set up their site, and be on their way to selling cookies in no time. So a little additional information for troop leaders, service units slash communities. So troop leaders have a brand new view this year if you somebody used Digital Cookie before. So you'll still see metrics. This might look familiar. It looks just like the girls' pages. Only instead of here, um, the emails will show you some statistics about the girls in the troop and their sales, but you'll see how your troop is doing as a whole. There are some reports below that. So on those reports, you can see all the orders for all of your girls. If you are doing initial order, you will see that report of the orders that have been initially ordered. Also, you'll be able to see those cookie badges and pins. So you'll see the progress that girls have made if they've earned any of the requirements. It's a great way to go in and say, oh, looks like you're just you know one, one requirement away from earning that pin or that badge. Can I help you with that? Um, or girls who haven't made that uh, effort yet, you could reach out and say, hey, it looks like you guys have working family entrepreneur pin. It's a great thing to do on these you know, winter nights <laughs> and winter days if you're stuck at home. It's a great way to have some guided activities that will help their sales. So leaders can see this information, see if it's been earned, um, and perhaps purchase it if, they, um, if that's something you do with badges in your troop. So when you log in, there will be... Um, a new feature here. It will say um, Troop Cookie Site. So leaders can come here and this will be the view for any leader or cookie manager that's in Digital Cookie. And they can click Start and this will help set up their cookie site. So they'll enter the zip code. Um, now this is geared towards uh, United States zip codes. So um, depending your location, you may not be able to enter um, you know, what counts as a zip code in your in your area, um, but you certainly could use uh, a zip code of maybe where you used to live or a relative. Um, and troop site lead, so you're going to select which of the adults in the troop, uh, the leaders or cookie managers, are going to be the one responsible for the site. So at that point, the leader um, who is the primary lead will now have a new girl in her in her options as a parent. So she might have had one daughter before when she's been designated the troop site lead and she goes into her view her view her girls as her parent. She'll have a new girl. The girl's first name will be troop 12359 or whatever your troop number is. So at that point, she will work with the troop. She'll set up that troop site the same way a girl sets up her site. So she can ask you know work with the girls to find out what they want to say to customers what photo or video they want to use. Same as a girl site, you'll finish, you'll approve, and you'll publish that. And once the sale starts, just like a girl, the troop will have a link that they can use for sales as well. There is also another new tab uh, for troop leaders called My Troop. So it allows you to see each of the girls in the troop. You can see if, what their goal is, have they set up their cookie site, do they have any orders to approve, and you can see even more details you know, parent or guardian on file for them? Do they have um, any any settings on or off? Have they emailed customers and how many sales have they made? So a great way to see information um, at a glance. So digital cookie orders do go to um, eBuddy. I understand this is a little bit older of a screenshot, um, but the functionality is still the same. So in eBuddy, if you go to the girl orders tab, you will see there'll be a line for each of the orders the girl has that is a donated, um, shipped, or delivered order. So on shipped orders, you'll see the inventory here, the you know, 47 boxes they had shipped. You'll see how much was due, plus you'll see that it's paid. With donated orders, you'll see it um, as well here, and that it was a paid order. Delivery orders um, are a little different. It does, doesn't actually add any inventory to it because it assumes that you have the cookies already, so it doesn't want to give extra to the girl. But it does show the payment. So in-person delivery orders, when you have your cookies, are really like um, a glorified cash register. <laughs> so 
uh, girls are going to get those orders. They're going to get the payment for them. They've already assigned them the cookies in eBuddy, but it's just going to show that payment for them. Again, I think these are a little outdated and I apologize, but again, it works the same. So the deposits tab uh, in eBuddy, you'll see every single payment for digital cookie you will see. So you'll see that this is a donated order, um, a shipped order, and so on. So you'll see that in here. Every order will show up as a payment. Also on the sales report, same thing. It will show each of the deposits. Oops, deposits. It'll show all the packages received by the girl, and it will show DOC uh, for each of the order numbers, so you can know that. So just a reminder that um, certainly we're looking for a lot of ways that we can sell cookies contactless. And donated and shipped orders are always contactless, so it's great if you're in an area that you know, you're using digital cookie, you're not gonna have a lot of opportunities to engage with customers otherwise. Donated orders are always um, contactless. Shipped orders, uh, same thing. You know, The delivery company is following COVID protocols to get those cookies ready, uh, and they're coming via FedEx and most likely USPS if it's to, um, it's to a base. So those cookies are going to be shipped and uh, handled with the COVID protocols. If you are offering prepaid girl delivery orders, uh, that's another contact list. It's great. Somebody can place an order and the girl can deliver those cookies um, and not have to come in contact with the customer to take their order, take their payment and deliver those cookies. So they could say, hey, you know, is there a time I can put the cookies on your porch um, or, you know, being creative? You know, we're going to have cookies at the house for you to pick up and you drive up and we'll put them in your trunk, for example. So a lot of options there. Also, virtual cookie booths are um, a popular option a lot of troops are looking at. And should we have any cookie booths, of course, in-person booths, with especially the OCR, um, or even just, again, reading the credit card number and typing it in, you don't have to touch that card to help it be contactless as well. So... A lot of great options exist uh, in order to make sure girls can still sell cookies this year. So just a quick walkthrough, if you do have somebody who says, I didn't get the registration email, just let them know to go to digitalcookie.girlscout. A, check junk spam promotions, go to digitalcookie.girlscouts.org, and there's a button that says need help to log in. They can have the email resent to them, or they can check and make sure their, their address is on file. If they get an error message, um, then they can check what's on file for them. They're going to select their counsel, type in their information about the girl. If it's not on file at all, because the girl's not listed for some reason, I'll let them know that and let them know to contact the troop leader or customer support. Otherwise, the parent will see the information and she can say, um, oh, that's not right. My email address has changed. If the parent's also a volunteer, they're going to see that they can update their, their information in eBuddy that you can't change your address here in Digital Cookie if you're a parent and a volunteer. If there are changes to it, um, the parent needs to put in the information of what she needs to change, and it will be sent to the council uh, to approve that change. Make sure that this is somebody who should have access to the girl's account. The council you know, does, does an extra special check just to make sure that uh, you know, somebody isn't trying to access the girl's account that shouldn't have access to her account. If there's more than one girl, they'll be updated. It will let you know that as well. If for some reason the girl's in digital cookie and the parent information hasn't been loaded, the parent can add the information. Again, she'll submit that to the council. The council has to approve it as well. Thanks for watching the Digital Cookie 101 video. There are some additional digital cookie resources that I want you to be aware of. For Troop Cookie volunteers, TCMs, and Troop helpers, on Tuesday, January 19th, there'll be a Digital Cookie Live webinar at 6.30 p.m. The link to join is in the description box of this video. If you're not able to join the live webinar, or you're watching this video after the date, no worries. It will post to the GSCO YouTube channel on Wednesday, January 20th, and a link to that video will also post on the GSCO Facebook page. For parents and caregivers, a detailed digital cookie video will post to the GSCO YouTube channel on Tuesday, January 19th. Look for a link to that same video on the GSCO Facebook page.